Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Fresh Fam, Shamika, whichever one you want to call me. And today I wanted to come and share with you guys the stages that you go through when you have TSW. I know my TSW warriors, topical steroid withdrawal warriors, know what it's like to go through the process and, you know, have to be rebuilding your body from basically from from scratch and um but the people outside of it who have never experienced it or have like family members that tell them that they're going through this or you know they just won't experience experience it in their lifetime i just wanted you guys to understand it a little bit if you do come across this video so we have so you have a little bit more of an understanding of what it's like to go through this because you once put a steroid cream on you or you took a shot just to, you know, help with something else. And then later on, you know, your body has attacks you. Like what I was going through for the past year and then figuring out um, about it throughout my journey. So I just wanted to share. Uh, so far though, on another note, I'm feeling really good. I am feeling good mentally, I'm feeling good physically, and um, that's okay. And I'm um, bouncing back. I still have some marks. Um, like, the, my skin is still, like, colored, but I don't have, like, any scratching, any burning, any tingling. I'm sleeping well. I'm, um, I'm just coming back to myself, and I feel like I'm a better person than I than I was previously. I'm still myself, but I'm relearning who I am because it, it totally breaks you down as a human being. And I'm learning to love myself in my new space, in my new, with my new body, you know? Just learning new things. But yeah, so, oh, if you're wondering, this this is how my neck is coming along. As you can see, my, my true color is there and then it's dark, but it's it's light, it's light compared. And you can see it from here, like, this is my skin tone, and that's where I have the discoloration. But I'm okay with that, you know, because it's going to take some time to get away the marks. And I have a lot of things that I'm doing that's helping me. My arms are slightly darker than my chest. My chest is healing up faster than my arms right now. This is my right arm, as you can see. And it's my left arm. But we're not here for that. I will be dropping my nine-month video soon. An update just to let you know what changes I've seen, what's going on with my body and things like that. I'm going to keep doing it until maybe my arms are like, you know, light enough so I can explain what it is I'm doing to help, you know, help somebody else out there or just give you encouragement. I also have talk throughs on my channel that I talk about stuff in depth, like what's on my mind and things like that. So I will link that playlist in the box below as well. But without further ado, let's get into the video of what this actual video is about um today so, we're going to be talking about topical steroid withdrawal healing if you see me looking down it's because i have my computer and i'm going to be reading off some notes so tsw usually goes through the following four stages as someone goes through the healing process so we have inflammation oozing and scabbing scab formation proliferation and flaking and remodeling okay and each person is going to have their own unique timeline. Like, it's not one size fits all. Mine, I knew about, well, I didn't know. I thought it was eczema. So, I could say I ran mine about two years. But actually being into topical steroid withdrawal, when I started counting, I'm now up to my nine month. Some people take, it takes them a year, three years, four years. It depends on your body. Everybody's situation is not the same. Um, and a person could also have two different stages on the same part of their body. So like how my body like is clear right here. My face is doing it really, really well. My face is really messed up. My face has cleared up tremendously. Um, I'll be popping in some pictures so you can see. Uh, my chest is clearing up very, very well. My, my boobs are really soft again. They felt weird when they had like when it was when it was at the height of it. My arms, though, are on a different wavelength than my chest and my face. And so you just have to kind of just go with the flow with this thing. Okay, so the inflammation stage. 
Skin inflammation is the body's natural and beneficial way of protecting itself. When inflammation is present, your immune system has sent out inflammatory cells in an attempt to heal the body and minimize a perceived threat. Skin inflammation is characterized by redness of the skin and lighter complexion, warmth to the touch, pain, swelling, and feelings of general weakness. Inflammation is common for someone at the beginning of the withdrawal journey. If you have been on your withdrawal journey for some time you and you experience this, it means you're having a flare-up as this inflammatory process occurs at the beginning of every flare-up. So, like, I remember going through inflammation where it would, like, it would feel like it was stinging, burning. I felt like it was stinging, burning. Nothing helped soothe it. It was horrible. Um, I think I have some pictures, so I'm going to put it in. But at, at, the, at this time, like, my skin was fully irritated. I didn't know what was going on. I, nothing helped. No ice pack, no cream, none of that. It, it was just insane. Okay, so that's the first stage. So we're on oozing and scab formation stage. Okay, basically, this occurs when the body has become addicted to topical steroids and is in withdrawal. When exposed to the air, cellular components of the pus undergo oxidation, oxidation to form a crust or scab. The formation of the crust or scabs prevents more bleeding from the wound and protects the wound to allow new skin to form underneath. Crust and scabs can repeatedly break to release more pus and appear to ooze. This is because they are very weak structures prone to breakage. So I know when I was going through my oozing and scabbing um, part of the journey, it was very difficult because from just reading that, you would think, okay, yeah, it's gonna ooze, crack, run. No, it's scratching in that whole, that whole, um, that whole, why can I get the words? That whole part of the journey, when it is oozing and scabbing over, it is not fun. It's very, 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 very painful. And it's still scratching. That's what they feel so right there. It's, it's still scratching. So even though somebody can tell you that's not going through it, don't scratch, don't do this, don't do that. That doesn't matter. It's still scratching. I had to buy some gloves, like some cotton gloves. I was sleeping them to prevent myself from scratching. And even then I would wake up and my gloves would be off. I used to have to wrap my arms in Muslim cloths, which I have I have um, linked that in another video, but I could definitely link it in this one as well. So I would wrap it and then um, wrap it with a, a bandage around the Muslim cloths because the, the gauze was not good, gauze was thick. But the oozing, the scabbing formation stage, that took me, I was in that for at least two months and it was very painful. When it, when it oozes, it's not like you can wipe that up. It's, it's just a lot, you know? So you're still scratching, you're still itching in that stage. Um, the next thing is the flaking stage. So I do remember I was so happy when I got to the flaking stage because when I was going through TSW, I found a lot of people on YouTube that I could refer to and just to like, re I used to rewatch, rewatch, rewatch this one particular girl's videos. And she helped me a lot because she had her videos like breaking down what was happening in every month. And I would just watch her video repeatedly every day just to see what was coming up. And if, if I was in the fifth month, I would watch the fifth month and the sixth month. The fifth month and the sixth month. So I'm gonna tag her videos down below because she really helped me a lot. And I, I, she was a godsend for me. So I hope that I'm doing justice for some people out there. But the flaking stage, I was so happy when I got to the flaking stage because I was able to see that my skin was healing. The flaking stage is basically like when your skin starts to scab over and actually heal underneath. 
and you start seeing it like all over the place like you can see it on if you're laying on your bed it's going to be on your sheets it's going to be on your clothing it's going to be everywhere and you ha you basically have to sweep it up like i was trying to explain in my last video with the dry brushing um i'm going to link that up above and and also put it in the description box below when I started to flake, I used my dry brushing just because I didn't want to sit there and have to keep picking at my skin, picking at my skin. That would cause another, that causes another problem, which I've seen a lot of people, some type of disease where you start picking your skin. It's horrible. So I didn't want to go through that. So what I did was I ended up getting me a, some dry brushes and I would dry brush my skin and then it will fall off like on the floor and then I will sweep it up like every morning. And even sometimes you don't even have to dry brush. It'll just be dropping off like, while you walk and stuff like that. And I didn't like that because I had to go like in the kitchen and stuff like that. So dry brushing really helps to like do it in one area and then you kind of just sweep it all together and throw it in the garbage. And I did that throughout the day. Okay, so the next stage. Oh, so let me tell you what the flaking stage is. It can be considered cosmetically unappealing, but very necessary for the healing of skin. At this stage, the cells of the skin are trying to rebuild the basement membrane of the skin as they migrate to the sites of the wounds and proliferate there. So basically, they're saying like, as your skin is learning to build itself back up, to build new skin uh, and go to where they need to be, like your skin needs to grow, okay? Like... That's why I also invested in the red light because the red light helps to accelerate skin cells, helps to help your skin cells regenerate and, and, you know, come back together tighter. And I will link that video also in the link in the description box below because I'm still using the red light and I feel like that's the reason why I started to heal progressively um, faster and just um, feeling like myself again because it also gives you energy and and um, pushes you forward on any journey that you're trying to do, okay? The next stage is the remodeling stage, and I think that's where I am now. I'm definitely in the remodeling stage because I don't... My neck used to feel really, really, really thin, and now it's feeling like, like my skin. I remember in one of my videos, I was like, my skin here doesn't feel like here, you know, right? Right over here, it's, it's soft again. I'm so happy that it's soft. But my arms, though, have, like, a texture still. My arm, this part of my arm is not as soft as my neck just yet. But I'm working on that. It's, I have faith because now I can see the progression of how the other parts of my body, you know, started to heal. Especially over here. Like, over here used to hurt so, so bad. But I'm in the remodeling stage, and so in the remodeling stage is a stage at which wounds begin to contract, pulling the skin towards itself. This is noticeable by thin lines surrounding the room, the wound. At this stage, at this stage, collagen is being formed in an effort to strengthen the skin and return it to its normal strength and elasticity. And that's what I was trying to explain. Like my elasticity on my normal skin, it feels so good and soft and supple and nice. And then, like, right here feels it's getting back to that. It's not 100%, but it's 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 getting there. But, like, over here, it's still, it's still rough. So, it's still doing its thing. And if, like, if I could show you up close, you probably can't see it. But it has, like, the lines that they're talking about just, like, pulling everything back so it could learn to act as normal skin. But... I just really felt like coming on here and explaining some of the things that happen in this whole, um, the whole thing with TSW, the different stages, and it doesn't happen overnight. Like I said, I'm nine months in, and I'm now having to deal with, you know, elasticity here and just working on the skin, um, the color of my skin and, you know, being comfortable in my body right now with what's whatever is going on with it and so if you're going through topical steroid withdrawal just be patient with yourself just know that things will things will work out you just really have to be positive and believe that your your body will do what it's supposed to do for you 
I chose not to take anything. I didn't take anything at all. No ibuprofen, nothing. I just really healed myself with food. Um, I healed myself with prayer, you know, believing in the creator and somebody hiding myself to pull me out of that. I lost my hair and everything. Um, but I'm a true believer in things starting over and it's okay to start over and start from the bottom you'll be okay and um i just wanted to bring this to everybody so they could see what uh happens when you're having when you're going through topical steroid withdrawal i just felt like it was a good video to put out there so again i just wanted to let you guys know the symptoms of tsw you, it can include burning, weeping, flaking, shedding, peeling, swelling, redness, wrinkly thin skin, pus filled bumps, cracking, itching, painful nodules, insomnia, hair loss, shivering, fatigue, depression, and disability. It is definitely something that I never thought would happen to me. I didn't even know what it was. And I'm so happy that there were people on YouTube already that were going through it and shared their journey so that I wasn't feeling like I was crazy. And I didn't go back and take steroids one more time because I could have went backwards. I did think about going to the hospital, um, I think in my third month of withdrawal because I was just going through it. But I reminded myself that when I went the last time, that this is what happened to me. So I decided to put my faith in God and um, push forward and see where it would lead me. A lot of people were worried for me and was telling me that I should go to the doctor or speak to a specialist or something. But I listened to my own intuition. So I'm not telling you what to do, but just make the right choice for yourself. And I feel like doing it this way for me is the best way because I know how to control my diet. I know how to take care of myself to make sure that I'm never, hopefully never in this position again. And um, yeah, so thank you for watching this video. Thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for watching all my videos. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe now. Um, I'm gonna have a lot of videos coming. Um. I'm always going to have videos coming. I have a lot of talk throughs. I have videos on cooking. I have old videos with me doing my makeup. Um, I started my YouTube with makeup. And yeah, just join the family. I'm very creative, so I'm not going to put myself in one box. Like one box for, for you know, you know, like that niche thing i don't have like a niche i just like doing a lot of things and i really love sharing my story because not only is it helping you guys out there it's helping me as well um yeah that's it so have a good day thank you for watching and send i'm sending love and light to you guys later